time frames and top down analysis. As a price action trader, your primary time frame is the one hour and four hour and the daily. Price action works on bigger time frames if you try to trade pin bars or engulfing bars on the five minute time frame. You will lose your money because there is a lot of noise on smaller time frames and the market will generate a lot of false signals because of the hard battle between the bears and the bulls. Besides, there is no successful price action trader who focuses on one time frame to analyze his charts. Maybe you have heard of the term top down analysis, which means to begin with bigger time frames to get the bigger picture. And then you switch to the smaller ones to decide whether to buy or to sell the market. Let's say you want to trade the four hour chart. You have to look at the weekly chart first and then the daily chart. If the weekly and the daily charts, a chart analysis align with the four hour chart, you can then take your trading decision. And if you want to trade the one hour chart, you have to look at the daily chart first. This is a critical step to do as price action as a price action trader because this will help you avoid low probability trading setups and it will allow you to stay focused on high probability price action signals through our top down analysis we always start with the bigger time frame we look to gather the following information most important support and resistance levels these areas represent turning points in the market if you can identify them on the weekly chart you will know what is going to happen when the price approaches these levels on the four hour chart. So you will decide either to buy, to sell, or to ignore the signals you get from the market. The market structure. The weekly analysis will help you identify if the market is trending up or down, or if it's ranging, or choppy. In general, you will know what the big investors are doing and you will try to find a way to follow them on the smaller time frames using my price action strategies. The previous candle. The last candle on the weekly chart is important because it tells us what happens during a week and it provides us with valuable information about the future market move. When you identify these points using the weekly chart, you can now move to the daily chart or the four hour chart and try to gather information such as the market condition, what the market is doing on the four hour time frame, is it trending up or down, is it ranging, or is it a choppy market? What are the most important key levels on the four hour or the daily time frame? This could be support and resistance, supply and demand areas, trend lines price action signal a candlestick pattern that will provide you with a signal to buy or short the market this could be a pin bar an engulfing bar or an inside bar let me give you an example to help you understand why it is important to adopt the top-down analysis concept in your trading method and what is going to happen if you don't look at the bigger time frame before switching to the switching to your primary chart Look at the illustration below. As you can see in this weekly chart, we have gathered two important points that will help us decide what to do on the daily time frame. The first point is that the market approaches to an important weekly resistance level that will represent a hot point in the market. The second information is the rejection from this key resistance level. As you can see, the price was rejected immediately when it approaches the level. This indicates that there are sellers there and they are willing to short the market. What confirms our analysis is the, is the formation of the inside bar false breakout patterns that indicate a reversal. Now, let's switch to the daily time frame to see what is going on in the market. On the daily chart, we have a clear pin bar candlestick pattern that indicates a bullish signal. 
If you focus just on one time frame to make your trading decisions, you will buy the market because there is a clear pin bar signal. But if you analyze the weekly chart, you would know that there is a very powerful key level that will stop the market from going up. So it's better to think of selling the market if there is a clear signal rather than to buy it. Look at what happened next. As you can see, the top down analysis works. The pin bar candlestick signal did not work because the weekly resistance level was a powerful turning point that reversed the market direction. If you want to trade price action based on one time frame, I highly recommend you to stop trading because you will end up losing your entire trading account and you will never become a successful trader. Trading counter trends is very profitable as well, but without the top down analysis, you will put yourself in trouble. Let me give you another example to show you how you can trade counter trends using your price action trading setups in combination with the top down analysis concepts. As you can see in the chart above, price, prices are at a weekly resistance level. Buyers were rejected twice from this level, which indicates that the market is at a hot point. <laughs> the market is at a hot point and it is likely to reverse. What you can do as a price action trader is to switch to the daily time frame to look for a selling opportunity. If you can find a price action setup near the weekly resistance level on the daily time frame, this is going to be a high probability setup to take into consideration. See the example below. The daily chart above confirms our weekly analysis. As you can see, there is a clear bearish signal near the weekly resistance level. The pin bar was rejected from that level, and there is also the formation of an inside bar false breakout. This is a clear indication of a trending change. Let's see what happens next. The example above shows that counter trend works if it is well mastered. It is a contrarian approach that requires experience. So if you are a beginner, I highly recommend you to stick with the trend. Try to practice as much as you can the top down analysis concept with the trend. And when you master trading with the trend, you can then move to trade high probability counter trend setups. There are many approaches used to time the market turns and plan trades. The most of the most of these <laughs> most of these approaches lead to greater confusion and lack of confidence in the results. Keeping the analysis simple is most often the best way to go. And top down analysis is one of the easiest approaches that is recommended to master if you want to trade the right way. What you have to do right now is to open your charts and try to practice what you learned in this chapter. Try to identify the market trend using these techniques. It will be little it will be a little confusing at the beginning, but with some screen time and practice, you will find it easy to identify the market direction. Trading strategies and tactics. In the last chapters, you learned three important aspects of price action trading. The first aspect is the market trends. You know how to identify the market trend using multiple time frame analysis. You know how to differentiate between trending markets and range bounds markets. And you understand how each market moves. The second aspect is the level. You learn how to draw support and resistance and how to draw trend lines. This skill will help you better enter the market in the right time. The third aspect is the signals. You have seen different candlestick patterns. You understand the psychology behind its formation and the meshes they send you. These three aspects, which are the trend, the level, and the signal, are what we will use in our trading approach to make money trading any financial market. 
I mean, I mean that when you open a chart, you will try to answer three important questions. One, what the market is doing. Is it trending, consolidating, or is it a choppy market? If it is trending, you know how to identify it. If it is an uptrend or a downtrend. If it is ranging, you will see that it is trading horizontally between two boundaries. And if it is a choppy market, you close your chart and you stay away. Two, what are the most powerful levels in this market? If the market is trending up or down or is it is ranging, you will try to find the most important support and resistance levels. These levels are the best zones where you can buy and sell the market. Three, what is the best signal to enter the market? The best signal to enter the market means the right time to execute your trade. And this is what you will learn in the next chapter. The pin bar candlestick pattern strategy. The pin bar candlestick is one of the most famous Japanese candlesticks. It is widely used by price action traders to determine reversal points in the market. In this section, you will learn in detail how to identify potential pin bar signals and the conditions needed for high probability setups. A pin bar is a, car is a chart candlestick. It is characterized by a very long tail that shows rejection and indicates that the market will move in the opposite direction. The area between the open and close is called the real body. Typically, all pin bars have a very small real body and a long shadow. A bullish pin bar is known for its lower wicks and the bearish one is characterized by long upper wicks. The color of the candlestick is not quite important. However, bullish candles with white real body are more powerful than candles with a real black body. On the other hand, a bearish pin bar with black real bodies are more important than the ones with white real bodies. See how pin bars look like below. How to identify pin bar candlestick setups. To be honest, quality price action setups don't exist in the market because you will see that sometimes you can find a high probability setup. You feel very excited about it and you take your trade with confidence, but at the end, you will be frustrated because the signal fails for unknown reasons. That happens a couple of times because the market doesn't move due to pin bar formations. What, ha what moves the market is the law of supply and demand. Let me give you an example. If you identify a quality pin bar candle near a support key level in an, up in an uptrend market, this is a very powerful buying signal to take. You shouldn't ignore it. But if the amount of money that buyers put in this trade is less than the amount of money that sellers risk in the same trade, the market will not go in your predicted direction. If the signal fails, it doesn't mean that your analysis is wrong or pen bars don't work. It is just because the market didn't validate your decision. Therefore, you accept your loss and you look for another opportunity. You may ask yourself, why should we look for quality pin bar setups if the market doesn't respect them? As you know, trading is a game of probabilities. There is no certainty. This is why you should evaluate your pin bar setups from multiple angles. And the fact that you are looking for quality setups means that you are trying to put the probabilities of success in your favor, which is the right mindset of successful traders. To determine whether or not a pin bar is worth trading, this price action signal should respect the following criteria. The pin bar formed in bigger time frames, such as the four hour or daily time frame, should be taken into consideration because if you look at smaller time frames, you can easily spot lots of pin bar signals. These setups should be ignored because smaller time frames generate lots of false signals. 
see the illustration below. The pin bar formed in the line with the direction of the market is more powerful than the one which is formed against the trend. If you can identify a clear trend, that means that you know who is in control of the market. The formation of this candlestick pattern with the trend makes it so effective. See the chart below. As you can see in the chart above, bullish pin bars that were formed in line with the uptrend work and they should be taken into consideration. But the bearish ones that were formed against the trend should be ignored. The anatomy of a pin bar is important as well. You have to make sure that the candlestick is a pin bar by looking at the distance between the real body and the tail. Pin bars with longer tails are more powerful. The psychology behind the pin bar candle formation. Pin bars are formed when prices are rejected. This rejection doesn't indicate a reversal signal because this price action setup can form everywhere in your chart. The most important areas to watch when trading pin bars are major key levels such as support and resistance, supply and demand zones, and moving averages. The formation of this candlestick chart pattern and these levels give a clear idea about what happens in the market. If the rejection was near a support level, for example, this is an obvious indication that the bulls are more powerful and they are willing to push the market to go upward. See the chart below. If the formation of this candlestick occurs near a resistance level, it indicates that the bears reject prices and prevents the bulls from breaking this level. So this means that sellers are willing to push the market downward. See the chart below. If you understand the psychology behind this price action pattern formation, you will be able to predict that you will be able to predict what is likely to happen in the future and you will make good trades based on high probability pin bar signals. Trading the pin bar candlestick with the trend. If you are a beginner trader, I highly recommend you to stick with the trend because pin bars that occur in trending markets offer good trading opportunities with high risk reward ratio. When you master trading it with the trend, you can then move to trade range bounds markets or even counter trends. This strategy is simple. You start by identifying a clear uptrend or downtrend and you wait for a pin bar to occur after a pullback to support or resistance levels. See the example below. The figure below shows how this price action signal works if it is traded with the trend. As you can see, the price was rejected from the resistance level, which indicates that the bar that the bears are still in charge of the downtrend. The formation of the pin bar indicates the end of the retracement move and the beginning of the impulsive move at the resistance level in line with the downtrend. This is a high quality setup because all the following criteria are respected. One, the pin bar is well formed and it is in line with the direction of the market. Two, the rejection occurred in a major key level which represents a hot point in the market slash resistance level. Three, the risk to reward ratio is good and it is worth trading. Sometimes even if the market is trending, we can't draw support and resistance levels because prices move in a certain way which we can't spot static, static key levels. If you are in this situation, you can use the 21 moving average, which will act as a dynamic support in an uptrend market and a dynamic resistance in a downtrend market. See the illustration below. 
As you can see in the chart above, the market was trending down using the 21 moving averages helps us to identify dynamic resistance levels and high probability pin bar setups. See another chart below. The four hour chart above illustrates how the 21 moving average can help us find key points in the market. When prices approach the moving average, the buying pressure takes place in the market and the price goes up. The pin bar signal is clear on the chart because the trend is bullish. The price action setup has a bullish anatomy as well. And the rejection from the 21 moving average is a confirmation signal to buy the market. Trading tactics. When we identify the trend, uptrend or downtrend, and the level, support or resistance, and we find a pin bar near these levels in line with the direction of the trend, the second, the second step is to know how to enter the market based on the candlestick pattern. According to my experience, there are different entry options when it comes to trading pin bars. It all depends on the candle anatomy, the market conditions, and your money management strategy. One, the aggressive entry option. This method consists of entering the market immediately after the pin bar closes without waiting for a confirmation. This strategy will help you catch the move from the beginning because sometimes the price goes higher after the close of the pin bar. And if you are not in the market, the trade will leave without you. See the example below. The chart above shows how an aggressive entry can help you to execute your trade in the right time without being left by the market. And as you see, we took this trade because we had three important elements. The trend, the market was trending down. In this case, we look for selling opportunities. The level, in this chart, we had a support level that becomes resistance. The signal, a clear pin bar was formed after the retracement back to the resistance level. When you have these three elements in the market, you just place your trade after the close of the pin bar and you stop loss above the long tail. Your profit, your profit target will be the next support level in case of a downtrend. These three elements are quite enough for you to find high probability entries in the market. The conservative entry option. This strategy consists of entering the market after 50% of the of the range bar retracement. This strategy sometimes will work and it gives you more than 5 over 1 risk reward ratio. And sometimes the market will leave without you. See the illustration below. The illustration above gives us an idea about the power of conservative entries. As you see, this entry method helps us decrease our risk and increase our rewards. The trade above has more than five to one risk reward ratio. One trade like this every month is quite enough to generate a decent income. See another chart below. One of the drawbacks of this entry option is that the market sometimes doesn't retrace to 50% of the range bar, which will make you feel frustrated because the market will move to the profit target without you. There is no wrong or right entry option. They both work great, but with screen time and experience, you will be able to decide whether to trade aggressively or conservatively. Trading pin bars with confluence. Confluence happens when many technical indicators generate the same signal. This trading concept is used by price action traders to filter their entry points and spot high probability signals in the market. It doesn't matter if you are a beginner or advanced trader, trading with confluence is a must. 
because it will help you focus on quality setups rather than quantity. And it will enhance tremendously your trading performance. Confluence means combination or conjunction. It is a situation in which two or more things join or come together. For example, if we are looking for a pin bar signal, we need to find other factors of confluence to confirm our entry. We are not going to take any pin bar that we find on our chart. Factors of confluence. The trend. It is one of the most important factor of confluence. This is the first thing that most successful traders look for on their charts. You can't trade any setup without identifying if it is in line with the direction of the market or not. A bearish pin bar is a downtrend. A bearish pin bar in a downtrend is more powerful than the one in a range bound market. Support and resistance levels and supply and demand areas. These major levels have a significant importance in the market because all big participants watch these specific areas. Moving averages. I personally use the 8 and 21 moving average. This technical trading tool acts as dynamic support and resistance. And it is a very important factor of confluence in trending markets. Fibonacci retracement tool. I use the 61% and 50% Fibonacci retracement to find the most powerful areas in the market. Trade lines. Drawing these lines on your charts give us an idea about the market direction and help us find the most important reversal points in the market. When you are analyzing your chart, you are not obligated to find all these levels to determine whether the trade is valid or not. If you can find just one or two factors of confluence that come up together with a good pin bar setup, this is quite enough to make a profitable trade. For example, an obvious pin bar signal near support or resistance levels in line with the direction of the market. See the illustration below. In the example above, we have a high probability setup with four factors of confluence. One, the trend. The market is trading up, which means that we have to follow the trend and look for a buying opportunity. Two, the level. The support level is an important key level in the market. As you can see, price broke out on the resistance level that becomes support and pulled back to it. Three, the signal. The formation of the bullish pin bar after the retracement back to the resistance level that becomes support. Four, another signal. The rejection of the pin bar from the support level and the 21 moving average that acted as a dynamic support level. All these factors work together to give us powerful trading signals to buy the market. See another example. The example below shows four confluent levels that indicate a powerful trading signal. The first factor is the bullish trend, and the second one is the resistance level that becomes support. The third one is the 21 moving average that acts as a dynamic support level. And the last factor is the pin bar formation near these levels in line with the bullish trend. If you adopt this trading concept, you will completely change the way you perceive the market and you will start trading like a sniper by waiting for the best trading setups to come to you instead of trying hard to make trades happen. Pin bars trades examples. I will give you some trading examples to help you understand how to trade the pin bar candlestick pattern with the trend. 
and how to use the confluence concept to confirm your entries. See the chart below. This is the NZD USD daily chart. As you can see, the market is trending down. This is the first information that we gather from this chart. After the breakout of the support level that becomes resistance, the price retraced back to this level and formed a pin bar candlestick pattern. The formation of the pin bar near the resistance level indicates that the retracement move is over and the beginning of an impulsive move is likely to happen. When we put the 21 moving average and the Fibonacci retracement on the chart, we see that the pin bar is rejected from these levels, which indicates that this level is very important and sellers are willing to push the market lower. Here, here in this example, we have solid reasons to sell the market. The first reason is the downtrend. The second reason is the formation of the pin bar near the resistance level, which indicates the end of the pullback and the beginning of a new move downward. The third reason is the rejection of the pin bar from the resistance level and from the 21 moving average. The last reason is the pin bar rejection from the 50% Fibonacci retracement level, which is considered to be one of the most powerful key levels in the market. Look at the chart below to see what happens next. As you can see in the chart above, our analysis was right because it was based on solid reasons to enter the market. This is the method that I want you to learn to be able to trade the market successfully. Look at another chart below. The chart above shows two important buying opportunities. The market was trending up the formation of the first pin bar after the retracement back to the support level was a high probability entry. What confirms our entry is the rejection from the 21 moving average and the 50% Fibonacci retracement. The same thing happens with the second pin bar that allowed us to enter the market again and make more profits. Trading pin bars in range bound markets. We can say that a market is ranging when prices don't make any higher high and higher lows and start trading horizontally between a definable level of support and a definable level of resistance. Once I see that the market changes its behavior, I have to change my tactics and adopt a trading strategy that fits this new market condition. To confirm a ranging market, I have to look for at least two touches of support level and two touches of resistance level. And once I have identified the range, then it becomes very simple to trade it by going long when prices reach the support level and going short when prices approach the resistance level. See below an example of a range bound market. As you see, as prices approach the key support or resistance level, we have an opportunity to buy or sell the market. We need just to wait for a clear price action setup such as a pin bar candlestick. Look at the illustration below. The illustration above shows us three trading opportunities. Let me explain to you how you can trade them successfully. One, the first one is a pin bar rejected from the support level. You can place a buy order after the pin bar closes or you can wait for the market to touch the 50% of the pin bar range. Your stop loss should be placed above the support level and your profit target must be placed near the resistance level. The risk reward of this trade is very attractive. Two, the second trading opportunity occurs near the support level. You place a buy order after the close of the pin bar and you stop loss and your stop loss should be below the support level. Your profit target is the next resistance level. Three, the third setup is an obvious buying opportunity. 
As you can see, the market was rejected from the support level and formed a pin bar to inform us that buyers are still there and the market is likely to bounce from the support level. Trading from major key support and resistance levels is the easiest way to make money trading range bound markets. Don't ever try to trade any setup if it is not strongly rejected from these areas. The second strategy is about trading in the direction of the breakouts of major key levels or waiting for the prices to retrace back to the breakout point and then you go long or you go short in the market. See the example below. The figure above illustrates a range bound market. The price broke out of the support level and retraces back to the point of the breakout. And the formation of an obvious pin bar indicates a high probability signal to short the market. This is how professional traders trade ranging markets based on this price action signal. How to confirm pin bar signals using technical indicators. Using technical indicators to confirm your entries will increase your probability of the trade being profitable. I am not telling you that you have to focus on indicators to generate signals because this will never work for you. But if you can combine your price action strategies with the right indicators, you will be able to filter your signals and trade the best setups. One of the best indicators that I use to confirm my entries when I examine a range bound market is the Bollinger Bands indicator. This technical trading tool was developed by John Bollinger to measure a market's volatility. The strategy is very simple. We will combine horizontal support and resistance with the upper and lower Bollinger Bands false breakout. If prices are rejected, from major key levels and from the bands this is a confirmation that the market will bounce from these levels see an example below if you look at the chart above you will notice how the bollinger bands act as a dynamic support and resistance when the market approaches the upper or the lower bands prices bounce strongly so if we see that a pin bar is rejected from a horizontal key level and from bands, this is a clear confirmation to buy or sell the market. This confirmation strategy is very simple and it will help you decide whether to, whether to take a trade or ignore it because trading is all about emotions and sometimes you will spot a nice pin bar signal in a range bound market, but you will find it difficult to make a decision. What you have to do in this case is simple. Just put your Bollinger Bands on your chart. And if you see that the signal is rejected from horizontal levels and from the bands, don't overthink. Don't overthink about what you should do next. Just execute your trade, place your stop loss and profit target. Then stay away and let the market do the work for you. See another illustration below. The daily chart above shows us how this indicator can help us execute our trades with confidence. The false breakout of the resistance level that was made by the pin bar was a powerful signal to short the market. The trade was confirmed by the false breakout of the upper band as well. Remember that this technical indicator is used just as a confirmation tool in range bound markets. Don't use it to generate signals. Use it always in combination with horizontal key levels and you will see how the strategy will affect positively your trading account. In conclusion, I recommend you to practice these strategies as much as you can before you open and fund your trading account. The engulfing bar candlestick pattern. The engulfing bar pattern is one of the most powerful and profitable price action patterns. Knowing how to use it properly as an entry signal will tremendously improve your trading profitability. In this section, you will learn how to use the engulfing bar pattern profit profitably. It doesn't matter if you are a beginner or advanced trader. If you are looking for serious, seriously a better trading strategy more than what you have been using, you have come to the right place. 
What is an engulfing bar pattern? This reversal candlestick pattern consists of two opposite colored bodies in which the second body engulfs or covers entirely the first one. A bullish engulfing pattern forms at the end of a downtrend. It provides a clear signal that the buy buying pressure has overwhelmed the selling pressure. In other words, the buyers are now involved. A bearish engulfing pattern occurs at the end of an uptrend. It is a top trend reversal indicator. It shows that the bulls are no, no more in control of the market and the price trend is likely to reverse. See the illustrations below. According to Steve Neeson, the father of modern candlestick, candlestick charting, this candle must meet three important criteria to be considered as a reversal pattern. One, the market is in a clearly definable uptrend or downtrend. Two, the engulfing candle comprises of two candlesticks and the first body is entirely engulfed by the second one. Three, the second real body is the opposite of the first real body. How to trade the engulfing bar price action signals. To trade profitably this chart candlestick pattern, you need to respect three important elements. One, the trend. If you look at any chart, you will notice that there are times where the market is moving clearly in one direction and times where it is moving sideways. To be honest, trading the engulfing bar pattern with the trend is the easiest way to make money in the market. You don't need to be highly knowledgeable about technical analysis to determine whether the market is trending or not. Make it stupid simple. If the market is making a series of higher highs and higher lows, it is about an uptrend market. And if it is making series of lower, lower highs and lower lows, it is simply about a downtrend market. The illustration above shows a clear uptrend. You don't need to use an indicator to determine whether the market is trending or not. Just look at your chart and try to apply the concept of higher highs and higher lows and vice versa. When you are analyzing your charts, bear in mind that the markets move in, in trends and trading with the trend is the most important element in your technical analysis. There's no more important than the trend. Don't never try to fight it <laughs> or to control it. Otherwise you will pay expensively for trying. You can't make money under any market conditions, no matter how powerful your trading system. You have to be patient enough and let the market tell you which direction is going to take. Successful traders say the trend is your friend. And if you want to master trading the engulfing bar pattern, your first rule is to follow the market direction. In other words, the trend should be your best friend. Two. The level. When you find a clearly definable uptrend or downtrend, the next step is to identify the most important levels in the market. I mean the most powerful support and resistance. If prices test the support level and stop, this is an indication that buyers are there. This area is watched by all participants in the market because it represents a great buying opportunity. Conversely, if prices test a resistance level and stop in an uptrend, this is a clear signal that selling strength is in the market. The example below shows how the market participate, participants interact with support and resistance levels. These levels take different forms such as trend lines, channels, flags, triangles, and your ability to identify them in your chart Will help you find better price levels in the market. In trending markets, when prices pass through resistance level, that resistance could become support. See the illustration below to understand how to trade the engulfing bar pattern with support and resistance in a bullish or a bearish trend.
There are other technical tools that can help us find the best levels in the market, such as supply and demand areas, moving averages, and Fibonacci retracement ratios. Three, the signal. The signal here is an engulfing bar pattern. You can apply the same rules when trading the inside bar candlestick pattern. Your ability to identify an engulfing candlestick at a key level and a clear uptrend or downtrend will greatly enhance the probabilities of making a winning trade. See another example below. Trading the engulfing bar with moving averages. Trading the engulfing bar pattern with moving averages provide a very profitable trading strategy. However, the lack of knowledge about using the moving average can damage dramatically your trading account. Traders use moving averages in different ways. As a trend following tool to identify the direction of the trend, so they buy the market when prices are above 200 simple moving average and they sell the market when it is below the 200 simple moving average. To determine whether the market is overbought or oversold, we just watch how prices interact with the moving averages. For example, in an uptrend, if prices move far from the moving averages, this is an indication that the market is overbought. To predict the trend, Change by using the crossover strategy. If the moving average crosses over another, it is a signal of a trend reversal. As any trading system, the moving average, the moving averages have disadvantages. This is why you have to know how to use it successfully under the right market conditions. This trading technical tool doesn't apply to all markets. Don't never try to use it in range bound or untradable markets because you will get a lot of false signals and you will definitively blow up your trading account. To the best of my knowledge, using the moving average as a dynamic support and resistance in trending markets in combination with an engulfing bar pattern signal is the perfect way to make money in the market. The strategy is very simple. We will use the 21 and the 8 simple moving averages in the daily and 4 hour time frames. We will define a clear bullish or bearish market and we, we simply buy when price pullbacks to the moving average in an engulfing bar pattern forms. See the illustration below. Conversely. If the moving average is trending down, it shows that the market is in a downtrend. We sell when price retrace to the moving average. The screenshot below shows how prices interact with the moving average as dynamic resistance level and how the engulfing bar pattern represented a high probability setup. How to trade the engulfing bar with Fibonacci retracement. Traders use Fibonacci retracement in different ways. However, the most important Fibonacci retracement levels are the 50% and the 61% Fibonacci retracements. Knowing how to use this tool in conjunction with Japanese candlestick will definitively maximize your profit potential. According to chart technicians, the most major moves retrace around 50 to 61%. According to chart technicians, the most major moves retrace around 50% or 61% Fibonacci retracement. This knowledge will provide you with the ability to predict the high accuracy, the next major move in a trending market. The strategy is very simple. You define a clear uptrend or downtrend, and then you define major corrective levels by using Fibonacci retracement tool. If you see an engulfing bar pattern matches up with 50% or 61%, it is a powerful price action trading signal like we see in the chart below.
In the example above, the engulfing VAR price action signal matches up with the 50% and the 61% Fibonacci retracement level. The resistance level that becomes support is another confirmation to take this high probability setup. This trading strategy is very powerful. Here is another example below that illustrates the power of 50% and 61% Fibonacci retracement. Trading the market from 50% and 61% Fibonacci levels means you are trading from better price levels. As a result, you will put as many probabilities in your favor as possible, and that will allow you to become one of the most successful traders. Trading the engulfing bar with trend lines. Trend lines give traders an idea about the psychology of the market, especially the psychology between buyers and sellers. Moreover, it allows professional traders to determine whether the market is pessimistic or optimistic. This technical trading tool is used in different ways, either as support and resistance by drawing them horizontally or to identify a price and time by drawing them, drawing the lines vertically. There is no wrong way in using trend lines. In trending markets, we use simply trend, we use simply trend lines to highlight a trend by connecting swing highs or swing lows in price. This way helps us find high probability entry setup in line with the general trend of the market. See the illustration below. By connecting the extreme highs, we had a trend line that acted as a resistance level and the formation of the engulfing bar pattern shows a good selling opportunity. If you use just horizontal support and resistance level, you will miss this profitable, this profitable trade. Learning about how to draw trend lines is never a bad idea because it is the simplest analytic tool that you can use to analyze financial markets. It works in all markets, whether it's Forex, commodities, futures, or options. The chart above shows a bullish trend. The trend line acts as a support level. The price action signal that occurred created a great buying opportunity.